Hello, my name is Travis White Schwach, and I'm the co founder of QX9 Technologies. Last year, $1 billion of assets were stolen from construction sites such as these. If you look at a construction site, it's full of interesting and valuable assets pallets of raw material, loaders and tractors and electronics. But at every job site is another humble asset that, believe it or not, is still a target of theft. I'm talking about portable toilets. Portable toilets rent for $1 to $200 per day in revenue. OSHA requires them at every job site, and they're targets of theft, they're targets of vagrancy, and they also fall victim to the elements. Wind might tip or a storm might tip them over. So there's this problem that portable toilets and construction assets in general are often supposed to be idle, and that's good, but we still want to track them. Current approaches, though, have high costs, often labor costs, such as scanning a barcode to check them into a database, or they use asset trackers that are battery powered and will lose their charge over time and need to be replaced. Our product is a self-powered motion detector. It draws no power when it's idle, but as soon as it senses movement, it powers up and sends a GPS ping to the database. Our current prototype is about the size of a tablet computer and is thin enough to fit within the walls or the door of a portable toilet. And the voltage sensitivity can be programmed to sense different kinds of movement, such as the door opening after hours or the asset itself moving. Our product relies on technology invented at Northwestern and Caltech. Here's how it works. Imagine a small vial of water, kind of like a test tube. In the middle of that is a custom printed film of nanometer thin metals. And as the water in that tube shakes back and forth, it runs across the surface of that water, generating a spark of electricity that we can capture to power the device. Our strategy is to offer an integrated hardware and software product for tracking small assets, starting with the portable toilet leasing market. These lessers rent to construction crews, to cities, to festivals and other events. And there's about 2 million portable toilets in the US. And we think that depending on the asset utilization, we can achieve a total market of about 12 to $18 million in top line revenue just with portable toilets and that this will provide us a springboard to track other kinds of small assets, starting in the construction space. We plan to use a subscription model where each asset gets an, a tracker that integrates into a database system to provide constant visibility and real world data to inform business planning. We think there are some important things that set our product apart. We think that the technology, shines, it's better, we think it's more appropriate than batteries because it doesn't draw power when it's idle and it reduces the risk of human error. We also have the ability to put multiple sensors in one asset to provide multiple kinds of data. And our current pricing strategy is $10 per month per asset on a subscription basis, which equates to about one days of lost revenue over the entire year for each portable toilet. And this gives us a healthy margin while still being cheaper than our competitors. We were founded out of the Kellogg School of Management. My co-founder and classmate, Jared Simon, has a background in electrical engineering and has worked in fleet management and asset tracking. And my background is in data science. So we combined the hardware and software sides of this business. The technology was invented by Professor Franz Geiger at Northwestern and Professor Tom Miller at Caltech. We have an aggressive strategy coming out of the CET Accelerator, hoping to get our first sale in about 24 months. In the interim, we want to round out the technical team, raise a seed round, and I think we will have to buy one or two portable toilets for prototyping. You know, some startups get snack bars, some get a game room, we'll have porta potties. And while we're initially focused on portable toilets, we've identified a number of small assets that need to be tracked, many of which are typically idle over the long term. In the construction space, in, in large industrial and government space, assets such as a remote weather tracking station, and even over time, 
consumer assets that are supposed to be idle, such as artwork or even a nice bottle of whiskey. Thanks for listening, and I look forward to answering your questions.